Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an alternator on this 2006 Jeep Liberty with the 3.7 liter V6 engine. And it's the same part and process on these Liberties from 2002 to 2007. And the items you'll need for this is a new alternator from 1AAuto.com, 12mm, 13mm, and 15mm sockets and a ratchet, and a pry bar. First, we have to remove the belt from the alternator. And right here is your belt tensioner. Using a 15mm socket and ratchet, just push down. And now you can remove the belt off the pulley. And then carefully release the tensioner and remove the socket and ratchet and then pull the belt off your alternator and put it back up onto that pulley so it's held in place. Now you want to remove your negative battery wire and that's a 12 millimeter nut just loosen it up and pull that free. Now you want to disconnect your harness just push the tab and pull it free and remove this cap and this 13 millimeter nut. And once you remove the nut, you can lift the wire up and off. Then remove this 13 millimeter bolt, and we'll fast forward as Don does this. Now on the front of your alternator, there's two 15 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove both of those. Once those are removed, use a pry bar or a large screwdriver and pry up your alternator and then move it back and forth while pulling on it to get it out of there. And eventually it'll pull free. On the right is the old alternator. On the left is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical. They're going to mount exactly the same. Take your new alternator, push it down into place, and replace that bolt by hand. Then line up the other side and replace the other 15 millimeter bolt. And we'll fast forward as he also replaces that 13 millimeter bolt in the back, and then tightens up the two 15 millimeter bolts. And now go ahead and tighten up that 13 millimeter bolt. Next, replace the wires on that stud along with that 13 millimeter nut and tighten it up. And replace that cap. Now using your 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, again, pull back on the tensioner Put the belt back up onto the alternator and then carefully release the tensioner and reconnect your harness and your negative battery wire and then just tighten up that 13 millimeter nut and you're all set we hope this video helps you out brought to you by 1aauto.com your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.